March is International Women's Month, and there are plenty of things that can be done to help make a good financial future. John Paradise from Town and Country Federal Credit Union is here to let us know uh, some steps that can help get us financially fit. John, thanks for being here. Always a pleasure. Thank you. For women like myself, I know sometimes it's easier to just let, you know, Clay take, <laughs> take care of everything. <laughs> He'll figure that out. But really, it's important that we're both involved, right? You've, you're a team and you're a partnership, and I think it's very important for, for women who are in a relationship to be fully immersed in the finances and to you know know what credit cards you have, know what debt you have, know what payments are, assets, et cetera, so you can have a good understanding of exactly what your financial state is all about. What kind of goals can women aim to set? Well, I think they can set realistic goals. You know, um, maybe set, a, set up their own account and have a, a goal that they want to save for you know, some sort of uh, milestone that they're looking for. Look into investing. There are a lot of great, you know, maybe I'm going to watch a podcast a month on money management and finances. Set those types of goals that will help them educate themselves to learn more about money and the whole concept around it. It's very emotionally charged and there, there are some bad habits to get into. Yeah. How about for those with a family? I mean, certain things to keep in mind with that? Yeah, you know, when it comes down to a family, it's, it's an entire group effort. And... Uh, if mom has a, a tendency to go out and buy everything for a child uh, and dad doesn't, there's got to be a happy medium. And, you know, there are a lot of arguments that, that get started about money. But mom and dad need to be on the same page. And that comes back to the whole educated piece. If mom knows a lot about money and dad knows a lot about money, they're much more likely to be in sync on that. And of course, this is a way to protect oneself because you never know what the future might hold if you end up on your own, whether you're a man or a woman. Absolutely, yes. absolutely. You know, get into good habits. And, and good habits are, are gender neutral, really, when it comes down to it. Build an emergency fund, whether you're a male or a female, for the unexpected. And, and you know, look at the whole education piece. I can't stress that enough. That is so important to to learning more about money management and financial wellness. And, you know, there are a lot of great resources out there. Take advantage of them. All right, John Paradise, thank you for those tips. We appreciate having you here today. Thank you. Thank you so Thanks, much. Thanks, John.